10, a local police officer now in need of some help of his own. His home burned down, and now he's finding out how much he means to the community. WBZ's Katie Brace with the story from Royalston. So they like to check everything out. Phillipston officer Bill Chapman's bloodhound smells lots of new scents. For Chapman, it's bittersweet. We're usually out helping others. In less than a day, the community donated toys, clothes, and blankets for Chapman, his wife, and two young kids. Chapman's chief called him at an out-of-state canine training seminar to rush home to Royalston. Firefighters were first called at Wednesday morning a little bit before noon. No one was home at the Chapman's home at the time, but his father saw the flames and called for help. She's the one that my father had saved. He saved Tessie, Chapman's working bloodhound from the outdoor kennel. Chapman's son's dog did not make it. They were actually surprisingly doing pretty well. Um, you know, the, the kids are pretty strong, and, uh, you know, my wife is, is really kind of good that way. They are also doing well thanks to the people of Royalston, Phillipston, and small neighboring towns. Did you realize how much you mean to this community? Uh, no, it's, you know, like I say, it's a nice community that way, so. Chapman is known for his bloodhounds, but he grew up around here. He is also one of two full-time Phillipston police officers. A fair and balanced approach to everything. That approach now appreciated hundreds of times over. A resident started a GoFundMe page. The dollars keep growing. I would just say, you know, thank you to everybody for that. Because you're up to, I think it's last time I checked, about $30,000. For an officer used to helping others, thank you does not do his appreciation justice. In Royalston, Katie Brace, WBZ News.